got this one off a guy in Sheffield uh, umpteen and ten years ago, I can't remember. I was playing with the long pigs a long time ago and I had a, a, a 335 the same year, which is 1969. It's really light. It's not got the massive big block in the middle and the way it kind of feeds back is heavenly. There's no squeals with it really, it just sustains. So you can get all this magic out of it, you know, that I couldn't have the other three, three fives I tried. And the way that they sustain, and uh, I love that about them. And the playability is just amazing. It's so smooth to play. And like all guitars, you know, you have to kind of get used to it and make them yours, you know. And, and so some players, they like to play with one guitar forever, you know. Um, like Dwayne Eddy, who I work with, you know, he just has his one thing and that's what he does, you know, but I, I don't know whether it's greed, I can call it that, or, 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 or it's because it's artistic reasons, but I like having a lot of guitars, because you can get lots of different sounds out of them, you know. Um, and this one is when I plug it in. In the old days, I used to have to turn the amps down on stage, because the output of this is just about a billion times more than, than uh, other guitars that I use, you know. But I just love its creaminess, you know, it's just a... That just sound really lovely, you know. Using a, a volume pedal there, so I think it's a Dunlop one, that I can't remember. Is it? Oh, it's only Bull, sorry. <laughs> I've got a lot of different, I can't remember which one I chose. You know, and it's really good for all that series. It's great for the kind of stuff that that, um, that kind of distorted guitar, I guess, that I use, which is um, he's, le he's letting the, 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 the actual acoustic nature of the, the instrument play a part in it as well, you know. And uh, uh, I, I love it. I, lo I love them very much. I, I actually got this for a song. It didn't cost very much money at all, and that was kind of in the early 90s when kind of nobody wanted them. Um, well, not as many people, I guess, you know. But yeah, this is a 1969 Gibson 335. So, I guess we don't own, we, we don't really own guitars, we just keep them a while, but I'm glad that I'm keeping this quite a while, you know. <laughs> I always loved playing them Les Pauls, you know, but it was the weight that always got me, and the fact they're quite little, and I, I was so used to playing Gretches and Gibson, big old Gibsons. And the, the main thing for me was playing them live was the weight you know, and maybe that makes me a bit of a pussy, I don't know, but uh, is I'd always end up like with really sore shoulders. And, and also the kind of music that I guess I was making at the time, it didn't require it, but with this record, it was obvious to me that I needed um, a Les Paul. arthritis now in my hands and uh, so I use a lot more open tunings than I used to and a lot more uh, things that uh, when I record I don't I'll play through the pain but uh, is, I tend to use up, drop D or something like that to make it a bit easier for me when I'm playing live but, um, This one is an it's a Gibson Les Paul uh, ES two nine five, 
So the, the, the shape of it is a, obviously a classic glass pole, but it's got a slight Florentine cutaway on it. Um, but the thing that intrigued me about it, that it wasn't totally solid, it's got hollow pockets inside. So I kind of thought, well, that would sort of behave a little bit where it may be like a 335 or something as well. And it's like a copy, a Les Paul version of the Gibson ES295 that Scott Moore used on all the Elvis stuff, you know. Um, and a lot of rockabilly players use those guitars. Um, you can get it with like smaller junior sort of vintage looking pickups, but I like just the standard humbuckers, you know. And uh, it's got big balls, and that's something that I definitely liked, you know. Um, and then it just pushed me into new territory and maybe take me out of my comfort zone and make me play in a different way, which it did, you know.